When God makes you a new creation, it's because the old creation is evidently not good enough. And so God influences you to become new in your mind. That's why influence basically enforces a change. A change to, from something to what God wants. And we're looking at the influence or the pillar of art. What does it do? Remember Jesus said, come ye a while and rest. Because today, stress is a killer. And art and entertainment creates the environment where stress is removed. Your body is removed. Apart from creating you know, creativity for young people, especially young people. So we find that we need to get into that influence so we don't have negative entertainment, but positive entertainment, which is good for us. What about politics? It's the rule of law. It is that which ensures that every nation, possibly, would focus on peace and prosperity. What laws does it, that nation bring in? The influence it brings makes men to become entrepreneurs, makes young people to want to say, yes, I want to be excellent. I want to give my best, not just for this nation, but for my own person. And then the balance between peace and insurrection, because there would always be those who would say, um, I don't like this and want to cause problems. The roadmap to security. So we see that if we have Christians in the right places, then we would influence every other person, or at least the majority, to ensure that we live in peace, unity, and prosperity. Join the service as you hear more of this so that you can take your place for God, for Christ, and for the nation.